chapter 10, Mishnah 1. In addition to the Shemitah laws that relate to agriculture, the Torah states that all loans are to be canceled at the end of Shemitah. If a person lends money before or during Shemitah, he must cancel the loan at the end of Shemitah and may not later demand repayment. This is known as cancellation of loans and is, subject to, and is the subject of this chapter. The Mishnah begins with the types of loans that are canceled. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. Shemitah cancels every loan, whether it was recorded in a document that includes a lien on the borrower's land or not recorded in a document with a lien, and even if it was a verbal loan that was not recorded at all. The Mishnah discusses other types of debt. Debt for items bought on credit in the shop is not canceled because it is not a loan. However, if he converted the debt into a loan, that is, the shopkeeper calculated the total with the consumer and now views the debt as a loan. It is canceled. Rabbi Yehuda says, each time a customer makes a new purchase, his earlier debt is automatically converted to a loan, and therefore the former balance is canceled by Shemitah. Wages owed to a hired, hired worker are not canceled because they are not a loan, but if he converted the debt into a loan, it is canceled. The next Tana limits this last law. Rabbi Yossi says, wages owed for any work that must stop during Shemitah, such as plowing or harvesting, are canceled. If this worker's craft is forbidden during Shemitah, he will not be hired again for a while, so it is time for him to demand payment. If he does not, it is as if he agrees to lend the employer the money. Thus, it is viewed as a loan and is canceled. But wages owed for work that does not have to stop during Shemitah are not canceled, since the reason the worker does not demand payment is because he expects to be hired again soon. Thus, the debt is not considered a loan.